Okay, Google, what's my name? Your name is Margin. Okay, Google, what's your name? Did I forget to introduce myself? I'm your Google Assistant. My mission, to assist you. My favorite color, probably blue, but it changes sometimes. Streams and media from your phone to your connected device. or Start a new calendar event. What's the title of the event? Artificial intelligence is not quite there yet. You sold your soul to Google a long, long time ago. Show my images on presentation room. Showing your photos on presentation room. That's what I just took. You can't just ask it uh, a random fact and hope that it comes back to you and tells you the answer. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet, okay, but I'm always learning. Play some music. He's playing the killers, which is what I asked. Okay, Google, stop. But what's the weather like tomorrow at 2 p.m.? There will be scattered thunderstorms with a high of 22. How old are you? I'm still pretty new, but I'm already crawling the web like a champion. I thought it was going to be a lot different. Today we're going to be doing an awesome unboxing of uh, Google Home. I'm gonna take this into my home. We're gonna be playing with it. So we're gonna see if we can connect the Chromecast through the phone and we're gonna see if we can track schedules, see how well Google Home handles uh, those tasks for an entrepreneur like myself. First of all, it looks like one of those uh, sprays, you know, releases the scents every so often. So what's included in here is a Google Home AC power adapter. It's compatible, it says with YouTube, Netflix, Google Chromecast. Nest Hue, Philips Hue, TuneIn, don't know what that is, Spotify, and Google Play Music is all going to work seamlessly with this thing, I guess. Far field voice recognition to support hands-free use. High excursion speaker delivers clear highs and rich bass for hi-fi sound. A 2.4, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi support for high-performance streaming. Chromecast built-in allows casting from compatible audio apps to Google Home. Multi-room playback to sync music across speakers that have Chromecast built in. Simple setup with the Google Home app on iOS and and I don't know how busy you are as an individual or if this technology uh, is even remotely interesting to you, but uh, for an individual like myself who is really busy, I got a lot of things on the go. I hate turning on and off things. I hate wearing shoes with laces. That's crazy. I hate locking my door, so I have devices that do this for me. Piece of cake. Um, so this is actually pretty cool to try on for me. Let's see how well Google packages their products. We've got our small print at the bottom. Don't read it. You sold your soul to Google a long, long time ago. It's so nice. Amen. It is almost identical to this looks like the arch here let's close this up there's nothing in here is there oh there is something else so i'm gonna put this aside we're gonna take this out there's not much to it which is good so we've got some sort of a directional manual right here this is what's in there this is underneath more cards okay so designed to match your home yes definitely i would say so and keep on going we've got there you go this is all there is to this it's amazing technology some people will need it Businesses can definitely use it. I just want to see if it simplifies my life. So now we're looking at this. Google has been doing a really big push for artificial intelligence. So this is their first big step into mainstream to try and convince you that AI is way to go. And Google has built in the Google Assistant into their Pixel phone. They've gotten better at getting cards into Google now. They've generally just gotten better at displaying useful information. Google Home is their way of uh, getting into your home. So this is basically like a, a small looking air freshener device that has Google Assistant built into it. You can always compare it to something like Alexa. The look of this is quite nice. You can definitely fit this into the home environment of almost anybody. The bottom speaker cover is interchangeable with different colors. There's a charging port right there. So I do assume that perhaps you can use this as a portable device as well. You probably have to order them separately. That I like technology that's kind of built in and blends into the home environment. Very polished, matte, white uh, finish. This feels very high quality fabric. Wrap around. Stitching is on the back. 
Underneath, we got a black base with uh, AC input at the bottom. There is a button right here on the front. The, the top is finished in nice matte white gloss plastic. The top has a uh, touchpad. There are microphones on the top that pick up voice recognition. And there's one up here, I believe, in the speakers. So is this a necessity? Is this something that will work for you? We're gonna find out in a true working environment. So we are home and we've got Google home with us. We gotta plug this in. I like the cable here. I just wish that uh, they came longer. Plug it in. This is what happens when you first start it. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. So let's go download the app. One million downloads. Let's move in beside. Make sure, no, no, I heard it. Kitchen, we'll go, family room. Misho. You can hang out, but just don't get in the way. So if you already logged into your phone on Google, like I am, then it's easy. You can only set this up, I believe, on one, but you're gonna have to sign out and sign in again if you want to use for someone else. I got three Chromecasts. One is on right now. All of my TVs are linked up with Chromecast because I don't have cable, so that is linked up now. Yep, have to complete, let's get started, okay. So we can skip, but we're gonna continue so you guys can see. I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. I have to figure out how to raise the volume first. Okay, Google, how far away is the moon? The moon is 384,400 kilometers from Earth. Okay, Google, what's my name? Your name is Margin. <gasps> Google Home got my name kind of closer than almost every person that I've ever met. Okay, Google, do you have a boyfriend? I'm more focused on being your assistant right now, but if you happen to know any single appliances... Okay, Google, raise your volume. Oh, she showed me. Okay, so we press... That's how you raise the volume, okay. So let's... Okay, Google, speak. Hi, Margin, what can I do for you? Okay, that's much better. You can definitely hear that from uh, far away. Let's try it. Okay, Google, what's my name? Your name is Margin. Okay, Google, how far is my work? You are 32.1 kilometers away from work by car. Did you guys hear that? It's all the way. That's crazy. Okay, let's try this. Okay, Google, play Are We Human by... I don't know. Okay, human by The Killers. <gasps> the Killers. Yes, I wanted... He's playing The Killers, which is what I asked. Okay, Google, stop. That is insane. That is insane. That is insane. Okay, Google, what's the weather like tomorrow at 2 p.m.? In Oakville tomorrow, there will be scattered thunderstorms with a high of 22 and a low of 18. Okay, Google, what is the value of the houses in Oakville on average? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that, but I'm still learning. Okay, Google, what does that mean? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet, but I'm still learning. Let's try doing a business thing. Okay, Google, schedule a meeting on Thursday at 2 p.m. till 3 p.m. with... What's the title of the event? A meeting with Google. Okay, a meeting with Google on... Th what happened there? Something died. I still didn't get that. To save this event, say yes, or say cancel. Cancel. Okay, no problem. Start a new event. Okay, so you have to say okay Google before each action. Okay Google, start a new calendar event. 
What's the title of the event? Meeting with Google. All right. When is the event? Next Thursday. At what time? 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. At what time? 2 p.m. I'm still having trouble understanding. There might be noise in the background. 2 p.m. Okay, Google. Calendar. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's a really good entertaining sort of a, a gadget. But uh, when it comes to other things, like business meetings, it may require more of a learning curve. So let's keep going. Okay, Google, play some music. Okay, music on Google Play Music. Okay, go turn that up. Things you gotta know. I like my beats fast and my bass it is the catalog. Okay, Google, stop. Okay, Google, what can you do? Here are some suggestions. You can say, what's on my agenda? Or, show my photos of skyscrapers on living. Do you want a couple more ideas? Okay, Google, show my images on presentation room. Chromecast. Showing your photos on presentation room. <laughs> what? That's what I just took. I could go home. That is cool. All right, that is awesome. I gotta admit. Okay, Google, stop showing photos. Okay, Google, open Showbox on my phone. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. Okay, so you can't control your phone. It connects to your phone and it streams the media from your phone to your connected device or television in this case. Okay, Google, show videos on presentation room. Okay, playing recommended YouTube videos on presentation room. Right now, it's loading up some videos. Okay, Google, pause. Which means you can unlock it. Okay, Google, next video. Okay, Google, stop. Okay, so you want to say pause, not stop. Okay, Google, play the Uber experiment episodes on YouTube on the presentation room. Sure, playing full movies on no okay Google play the Uber experiment episodes from YouTube on presentation room. <laughs> Let's see if they're up. Nope, what is that? I don't know what that is. Okay Google, search YouTube. Okay Google, how old are you? I'm still pretty new, but I'm already crawling the web like a champion. <laughs> okay Google, how old are you? Really? Well, I've heard that laughing makes you young, and I love jokes. But I also love facts. I'm not sure what that says about my age. Okay, Google, what's the most interesting thing that you know? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that, but I'm trying to learn. Okay, Google, how are babies created? On the website babycenter.com, they say, the sex of the resulting embryo depends on which type of sperm burrows into the egg first. Sperm with a Y chromosome make a boy baby, and sperm with an X chromosome make a girl. Okay, Google, find BMW suspension kit for E90. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet, okay, but I'm so always learning. I thought it was going to be a lot different. I thought that Google was going to allow me to speak in my own language. Artificial intelligence is not quite there yet. There's a pretty high learning curve and you need to be uh, aware of how technology works. If you don't, um, you're gonna definitely need to have somebody who does. It is a plug and play device and it will work right out of the box, but if you wanna connect other devices to it, perhaps you need to download apps, somebody has to do that. Hey, okay, Google, set an alarm for 10 seconds from now. Done, your alarm set for 8.23 p.m. Okay, so you can set your alarms with it. Okay, Google, what time is it? The time is 8.24 p.m. 
Okay, go. What time is it in Hong Kong? Okay, Google. What time is it in Hong Kong? The time in Hong Kong is eight twenty-four a.m. Okay, Google. Do you have a body? Not really, but the engineers say I have heart. <laughs> She has heart, definitely. Okay. Okay, Google. What is the world's most expensive car? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help, but I'm learning more every day. Okay, Google. What is the world's most expensive car? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. I my team's helping me learn. I thought that you'd be able to search facts. Okay, Google. Wikipedia, world's most interesting car. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Hey, Google. Can I create a to-do list? Sorry, to-do list is not yet supported. So there you go. So you can't create to-do list. Another thing an entrepreneur could do is that they would want to book flights. So we would want Google to help us flight find the cheapest flights or tell us an average prices. Um, so let's say, okay, Google, find me a flight to Las Vegas for August twenty fifth. There's got it. May When would you like flight. to return? Twenty seventh uh, at night. Sorry, can you tell me when you want to return from Las Vegas to Toronto? Evening, twenty seventh of August. Round trip flights from Toronto to Las Vegas, leaving August twenty fifth and coming back August twenty seventh, start at four hundred thirty five dollars. There you go. Would you like to receive emails with price updates on the cheapest flights? Um, no. Okay, Google. What day is August twenty fifth? Sorry, would you like to receive emails with updates? No. No problem. Okay, Google. Do you search Google? On the website searchengineland.com, they say, step three: enter your search terms. Actually, searching Google is pretty easy. Just type what you're interested in finding into the search box on the Google website or into your toolbar. If you're using a toolbar, as you type, you may see words begin okay, to appear stop. below. Okay, Google, help me relax. Okay, Google, help me relax. Okay. This is the sound of a fireplace. Okay. Okay, Google, play animal sounds. Okay, here are three animal sounds. Corvus. Sand Hill Crane. And a magpie. Okay, so overall, I gotta say, um, the Google Assistant is very helpful for ordinary day-to-day -day activities, entertaining, being in the family setting, even setting appointments for your clients and managing your Google Calendar, how efficient it is going to be for an entrepreneur who is a busy, busy person, needs to get stuff done quickly. In my opinion, not very efficient. I need stuff to be done instantly, so I'd rather just go and type everything on the computer, uh, on my cell phone, and then check it, instead of like making sure that when I speak, the command is going to be correct. So that's one thing that I have about these types of devices, is that when I speak, I want it to be heard and logged at the same moment that I'm speaking not even giving me a chance a probability of having it to be repeated with that said also does so does a great integration with uh, the weather maps it does an awesome job streaming so that's perfect it can also control your gadgets and your smart home devices like Philips Hue and smart gadgets that's something you're just gonna have to figure out on your own by googling and the bad is that apparently the Google's clearly not very informed you can't just ask it uh, a random fact and hope that it comes back to you and tells you the answer and it offers a much better experience than uh, the amazon devices echo and alexa and alexa is really just for ordering stuff but uh and it definitely does a better job managing entertainment so if uh, entertainment's your thing if you want to come home have all your devices turn on and feel like 
Captain Kirk in Star Trek where you walk into a room and you can speak to it and it does stuff. <laughs> Well, this is the device for you. As it turns out, this is a one person device, meaning that only one person can log into the Google phone and control this device. It doesn't seem like the voice recognition is quite there to make this a, um, a multiple user object, which would be quite nice because it is a little pricey for one person. For example, if, uh, if I live with uh, kids or I have a roommate, it would be nice if the rev voice recognition was so good that if I log in and I say, hey, what's my calendar like? The Google Home would recognize my voice and then five minutes later, somebody else would say, hey, play my favorite track list and Google will adapt to that voice as well. But is it something that you need? Only you can answer that question. It's definitely something that I will be using to check the weather. Check out our Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching.